True story. Friend came over yesterday, and uh, he brought his external hard drive with him. I was like, cool, what, what, do you, what do you have on there? He had two or three movies that uh, we were going to watch, so I was like, awesome. So we go ahead and plug the hard drive into my Mac, and um, it, it works just fine. We open it up. This isn't the hard drive. We open it up, and I'm in there, and I'm like, oh, cool, I've actually got uh, this, this video that I want to give you. So I, I go to drag it in, and I, I drop it. And it pops up with an error that says permission denied, unable to drop file, can't, cannot write to this disk. I go, that's weird. Maybe it's just that video. I right click to make a new folder, and that new folder isn't even there. I'm like, what? And then I remembered. The one downside to a Mac is that a volume, being a hard drive, formatted in the format NTFS, which is what Windows uses, isn't writable on a Mac. So I did some Google work and I found a program called MacFuse. MacFuse is an open source project that allows you to, um, it not only allows you to create file systems, but it allows you now to use um, NTFS file systems, uh, read and write on a Mac. So third party file systems. So I'll put the links in the description, but you can download MacFuse. And then you need to go to the second download, which is actually downloading the NTFS file system. It's not Tuxera. Do not download that. It's not free. I found that one out the weird way. Scroll down, keep scrolling until you find download NTFS 3G for Mac OS X 2010 10.2. Okay, you're going to download that. Um, no, I don't want to download right now. Okay, those two are going to download. Install MacFuse, it will show up in your System Preferences pane. And then go ahead and after that's done, reboot and install NTFS-3G. I haven't even opened this preference pane yet. So what that will allow you to now do is take any NTFS volume and uh, open it up and be able to write to it. To find out if a volume is NTFS or what, what the volume even is, highlight any volumes you have, right click, get info, they'll all pop up and you can see that there are obviously a volume and you can see the format um, my externals are formatted to Mac OS X extended except for my pocket hard drive which I use on Windows it's formatted in FAT32 which is pretty universal all memory sticks are formatted in FAT32 most hard drives when they come out of the store are formatted in FAT32 the only ones that are not in FAT32 are over the terabyte mark. So if you have a two terabyte external, it comes NTFS. So you're going to need to either reformat or go ahead and download um, MacFuse and NTFS-3G to be able to do that. As an add-on to this this little story here, that is what I'm purchasing. Oh yeah, this one's for my sister because she needs it. This one's for me. I would have gone bigger, but. I just don't have the funds right now. And uh, to go along with that, I just bought, I had this open like three seconds ago. I don't know why I closed it. Etsy is a, like, I don't even know what it is. I just know that I found what I wanted and I bought this decal for when I get it. I've already purchased it. Shipping should say, should be two days. So I'm pretty excited. I'm holding memory sticks, by the way. Yes, very random. And another tutorial within the next few days. I promise. And besides that, see you guys. And the links are in the description. And yes, my website's down. And yeah, have a good day, because good days are good.